Drinking enough water in Hawaii's year-round hot and humid weather isn't as easy as it sounds, and children are more prone to dehydration than adults. Joining us now with more reminders and some hydration tips is pediatrician Dr. Teresa Wee. Good morning, Dr. Wee. Thanks for joining us again. Good morning, Christine. So why is it important for all of us to stay hydrated, and why are kids more prone to dehydration? You know, their body surface is smaller. Um, children are, just don't have it as efficient um, a mechanism. But it is so important that we increase energy with hydration. We get better coordination, less muscle fatigue, faster recovery, and better temperature regulation. Yeah, because sometimes when you feel tired or a bit sluggish, your body is just saying, you got to drink more water. You need to stay hydrated. So how much water should kids drink every day? So children should drink um, from ages one to three, maybe four cups of water. And about four to 10, they should be drinking eight cups. And then maybe adults should be drinking about 11 to 12 cups of water. Okay, so again, one to eight years old, four cups every day, nine to 13, eight cups every day, and yeah. teens, 11 cups. And is that cups six ounces or eight ounces? Yeah, so that, that would be cups. So one cup would be eight ounces. Full eight ounces, okay. Yeah. What are some tips for parents to encourage proper hydration and to get the entire family to drink water? Because some people just don't like water. You know, I, I think if you infuse it with a little bit of uh, lemon or lime or orange or cucumbers, that adds a little flavor to it. But also, um, be very careful with sugar-sweetened beverages, um, as well as the electrolyte and energy drinks. They contain a lot of sugar. I think the most important thing is for parents to be good role models for their children. And of course, um, just Teach children how to look at their urine. If your urine is a dark tea color, it, you're probably getting a little bit dehydrated. Uh, the color of urine of a well-hydrated person is light yellow. And what about sports drinks, Dr. Wee? Is that a healthy alternative for keiki? You know, if, if you're a high-performing athlete who's doing uh, one hour or more of continuous vigorous exercise, then of course that would be uh, appropriate. But for the casual uh, youngster who's playing pee wee football, you know, and really, you know, not not exerting that much, I think just regular water would be the beverage of choice. And what about kids who play sports or they're just really active? Should they be drinking more than the daily recommendation? I, I think yes, if it's a hotter day, if you're exerting yourself all day, swimming, surfing, um, then of course all of these recommendations for fluids, um, uh, go, you know, it would increase. So remember now, when we talk about fluid intake, we're also including the whole fruits and vegetables that you eat, as well as milk, juice, um, or, you know, um, soups, anything in your meal. So that counts as well. That's good to know. Yeah. Okay, and speaking of activity, you have a popular activity that's finally returning. I'm so happy. We went to Tier 5 yesterday. Thank you, Governor Ige. And now we're allowed up to 75 people outdoors. So walk with the Dark Oahu. We will have our first return tomorrow. And we start probably at 8 a.m. at Central Oahu Regional Park. Um, we're located near the tennis courts, and you'll see a whole bunch of us there tomorrow by 7.30. So come join me. Um, it's free, all ages, all health conditions welcome. Um, we would love to see everyone out there with me walking. Free outdoors exercise, and also you usually have some refreshments on hand to help Keiki and their parents with that daily recommended uh, water intake, yeah, so right? Yes, bring your water bottle. But most of all, it's the fellowship and the camaraderie, and it's just a, a nice walking family. So I think we've all been pent up long enough. So please come and join me. I think you'll have a lot of fun. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Will you have fun tomorrow and have a good weekend.